Good morning, everybody. It's another day here in the path, and I am pumped about what God has in store for us because today is Mother's Day. We are not going to meet on Zoom today because we are challenging you to make today a day of service to serve your mom or the person in your house that takes care of you all day. Here are some examples. Maybe you could take out the trash or make her a meal, write her a sweet note, or just ask her, hey mom, is there anything that I could do for you today? Show those moms some love because they deserve it. I love getting to have fun with you as we check out what it means to get unstuck. And yes, I'm talking about determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. We have an amazing Bible study for you today, so let's watch the so-and-so show, and I'll see you back after. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. My name's John. And I'm Brandon. This is the... Uh... Hey, buddy, you okay? So-and-so show! This is the so-and-so show. That's what it is. What is going on with you? I, I haven't been able to sleep lately. I'm just exhausted. I'm sorry to hear that. Why aren't, why aren't you sleeping well? I've been doing this thing to make a little extra money where I teach English to kids in other countries on the Internet. Oh, don't you have to know other languages to do that? No, no, it's called language immersion. So I'm just supposed to talk to them in English, and after a while, they just pick it up. Oh, well, that's really great, but... Yeah, it's really, uh... Huh, it's really great. Yeah. <sighs> he still didn't explain why he wasn't sleeping. Uh, it's because I have to get up at 3 in the morning to teach English to kids in China because that's when it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon over there. Huh. Then I take a two-hour nap before I have to wake up to talk to some kids in Italy. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Time zones, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing. I... <laughs> John. John! Hey, bud. It's time to... Ah, I'm sorry. He's really out. Soccer isn't a real sport. Who dares? Great, you're up. Uh, we, we really need to start the show. Oh, oh, okay. It's time for someone who knows stuff. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, we're not used to having two guests on at the same time. Uh, is one of you supposed to be here next week? No, I'm pretty sure we're at the right week. Uh, uh, there are two people here, right? I, uh, or am I just sleep deprived? No, you're fine. Uh, okay, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what you know. My name is Mariah Miller and I am an engineer for Velcro. I, I am sorry, I am so tired. Which one of you is Mariah? I'm Mariah. Oh. And I'm 
Cheryl, Mariah's assistant, and sign language interpreter. You'll hear my voice, but really, it's Mariah doing the talking. She's the brains of this operation. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, wait, so you're, you're si this is sign language right now that you're doing? Yeah. Oh. Do, you, do you mind if I ask, how long has she been? Um, you can talk to oh, her. Oh, sorry, how long have you been uh, hearing impaired? I was born deaf, and I can't remember a time when I didn't know sign language. Obviously, I can speak a little bit, but having Cheryl in my life has made it so much easier. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so, 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 so wait, you've, you've, ne you've never been able to hear. It, it, that must be hard. It's hard, but I'm not gonna lie. Having, in here, having a hearing impairment doesn't make me any less capable than any other person. I go through the hard stuff like everyone else. Mm. Plus, I try to look for the good in everything. Oh. oh, how do you mean? Well, I'm not able to hear now, but I know this amazing, beautiful language, sign language, mm -hmm. and I'm able to focus and keep out input from other people. <laughs> if someone wants to talk to me, I don't really want to talk to them. And they can't get my attention. Uh, even if they're yelling, I just don't have to look at them. Oh. I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we really ought to talk about uh, Velcro. No, no, no. Uh, can you teach me some sign language? This is how we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Cool. This is how we say I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah. I got it. I got it. Uh, it's a little I for I. Uh -huh. All right, all right, okay, L I got it. for love. Ah, y for you. Yeah. I love you. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, well, seriously, we're running out of time. Is there anything about Velcro you can tell us really quick? Velcro was modeled from a burr from a plant that the inventor found that was stuck on his pant legs after a walk with his dog. Wow. Hmm. It was also used in the first heart surgery to keep the heart together. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have Velcro inside astronaut's helmet in case they want to scratch their nose. No kidding. You oh. want to try it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to try. Yep, that feels <laughs> good. It works. It works. It's true. Ooh. Yeah, that's like <laughs> lovely. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, uh, Mariah, and you too, Cheryl. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, um, is, is there, uh, how do you clap? Is there a sign? Yeah. Oh, 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 like that, like that. Okay, okay. Nice. How do you say bye? Uh, oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Can't believe it. I didn't you know, know that sign one. language. I know. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a nap. Oh man, we have to. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Hold on. What are you doing? I, 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 it's time for me to teach a kid who's calling in from Moldova. Just, it, just act like I'm not here. Just keep going. Just act like I'm not here. So same as usual. Hello, my name, I, I'm your teacher. My name is John. J. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? While he's doing that. Shh, it's shush. Oh, hi, Maxim. Uh, what is the weather like where you are here? It is sunny. It's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> hey, y'all. Shh. Oh, um. Hey, y'all. No, this is ridiculous. Kellen can't be quiet the whole time. We're doing a show. I'm sorry, Maxim. No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I, 
You'll be speaking English this time, won't you, Kellen? This time, yes. Great. Maxim, this is your new teacher, Kellen. It's, it's, it's really long word. Go ahead, Kellen. Okay, then. Today's story takes place on a day we call Pentecost. This was after Jesus had risen from the dead and after he had been taken up into heaven. And if you remember, before Jesus left, he gave his followers a mission to tell the whole world about him from one end of the earth to the other. Seems impossible, right? Well, wait till you see what happens in this reenactment by your favorite acting troupe, the So-and-So Show Players. <laughs> On the day of Pentecost, in the city of Jerusalem, the followers of Jesus gathered together in one place. So, what have you been up to since Jesus died, was resurrected, and then arose to heaven? I've been telling everyone I know about our risen Savior. Yeah, nice. Me too. Me too. Do you think that we're going to be able to tell the entire world? Well, I've told about like 50 people so far. How many people are in the whole world? Millions. Oh. Suddenly, a sound from heaven came like a strong wind. You hear that? Yeah, I, what is... What, what is that? They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. Oh, I don't know. But I'm sure we don't have the budget to animate it. They're right. So, the flames separated and came to rest on the followers of Jesus in the house. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. That was incredible. C'est magnifique. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, are you speaking a different language? Uh, Mamma mia. Moi? Oh. <laughs> it's true. I am speaking French. And I am speaking fluent Italian. Oh. <laughs> and yet we understand each other. <laughs> Potpourri, au duv encore. Bertoli, prego, ragu. <laughs> Yeah, so when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, all those gathered began to speak in languages they hadn't known before, not in bad French and Italian accents. Fair dinkum. Nah, I'm speaking Australian. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Boomerangs. Anyway... In Jerusalem that day, people from a bunch of other countries had gathered for an annual festival. And when they had heard the Jesus followers speaking their own language, they were amazed. Wow, that guy's speaking Australian, even though he's not from Australia. Cheerio! And I do believe I heard a Galilean speaking British at tea time. Spit spot. Oh boy, again. The followers of Jesus were speaking languages they hadn't known before. And to be clear, none of them were speaking English. The point is that all the people visiting Jerusalem from other countries understood what the Jesus followers were saying. So they understood when one of the followers, Peter, stepped forward. <gasps> I'm an entrance. I got chills. Let me explain something to you. Jesus was nailed to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. <gasps> Raper. How wonderful. <laughs> Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. What, what should, should we, we do? do? Turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you will be forgiven. And... You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <gasps> Are you in? Does an emu fly? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. <clears throat> We're in, mate. That day, 3,000 people from different countries and different languages became followers of Jesus. And they would take the story of Jesus back to their own homes and tell the story in their own language. So people from one end of the earth to the other would hear the good news. Isn't that amazing? Totally. Really amazing. And speaking of amazing, let's give a big round of applause for the So-and-So Show players.
Okay, wow, that the, the Holy Spirit helped those Jesus followers do the impossible. I wish I had that. You do. Really? Yeah. Anyone who puts their faith in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. Then why can't I speak Australian? First, you can. And second, having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you have the power to do whatever you want, whenever you want. But the Holy Spirit can help you keep going when things seem too hard for you alone. That's great. Good on you, Kaylin. Uh -huh. Hey, I can speak Australian. Blah, blah, blah. We'll see you next time, Kellen. Thanks for the story. You bet. Bye, guys. Bye, Maxim. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, right, 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 right. Good job today, Maxim. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow for your next lesson. Okay. Bye. Hi. Are you done for the day? Yeah, just only 18 more classes to go. Oh. John, I, listen, I think that this new teaching job is a great idea, but you might be overdoing it, don't you think? Are you kidding me? I'm good. The Holy Spirit can... Just get me through it. I know, but the Holy Spirit can also help you to be wise. You gotta have sleep, bud. John. John! Reveal the question! <laughs> the question of the day is, what helps you keep going? Mmm, sometimes coffee. Sometimes running in place. Oh. What helps you keep going? Not just when you're tired, when things are hard, or when things are boring, maybe. What's something you can do or something you can think about to help you keep going? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Are you okay? I need a vacation. Okay. Today we're gonna go over simple objects. Simple objects. Paper. This is a piece of paper. This is a C-clamp device for mobile phones and other electronic devices. Can you say that? C-clamp device. Can you say outdated audiovisual tech? This is a heavy chair. These are rocket boosters for a shuttle program discontinued by NASA. You'll use that one a lot. You'll use that one a lot. It's right up there with where's the bathroom? The Holy Spirit was an amazing gift to believers. Because of the Spirit, it was possible for the believers to begin the great mission Jesus had given them. They were able to tell so many people about Jesus and their work had only just begun. God's Holy Spirit is available to us too. Jesus made a way for us to have a relationship with God. And because Jesus, we can have the help of the Holy Spirit all the time. From the beginning, God always had a plan to send a helper. God knew we would need to help to feel his love, to follow his ways, and to carry out his mission of sharing his love with the whole world. He gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. We never have to go alone because he is always with us. So remember this, God gives you what you need to keep going. During this time of quarantine, I have been homeschooling my two elementary kids, working full time from home, preparing my house to be sold, dealing with the plans for building our new house, trying to stay connected to my friends and family via the internet and more, so much more. But while my husband, who's a firefighter, has been at work most days. There were times where I felt very alone. I wasn't sure if I could keep doing all of these things. I missed my friends and my extended family. I never wanted to homeschool my kids and certainly not while I was working full time for my house that I was turning into a studio to record videos and more. That is when I needed to rely on God. I remembered that I am never alone. The Holy Spirit is always with me. It was knowing this and digging into God's word that has gotten me through this tough time. God helped me to know that I can do anything with him by my side even if it seems hard, as long as I have determination. Everyone across the world is experiencing these same types of things, and I bet you felt lonely and defeated at times during this pandemic as well. Well, I have some good news for you. With the Holy Spirit, you can keep going too. If you believe in Jesus, you have the Spirit to help you. You can have determination to keep going and finish what you've started. 
Just a reminder, this week is Mother's Day, so we will not meet on Zoom today, but I have attached the questions to either the email that your parents received or in the comments on Facebook for you to review it with your parents. I hope you all make sure to spoil your moms today and let them know how amazing they are. I can't wait to see you all on Zoom next week. Let's pray. God, it's so amazing to see how you gave the gift of the Holy Spirit to the disciples, just like Jesus promised. When we believe, you give us the Holy Spirit too. We know that with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can be determined to follow you and finish what you've started. Please help us trust you and remember that you'll give us everything that we need through your Holy Spirit. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you guys next week.